Hello and welcome to Night Lights. My name is Peter Zaleski and I'll be your guide on this video tour of this beautiful 1970 Berger 75 foot pilot house motor yacht. She's built of aluminum, it's been modified and restored by its current owner to make it easy to shorthand sail and cruise and to be a lot of fun to entertain on. Let's start the tour at the transom and work our way forward. You can see the swim platform has safety rails around it. If we look underneath the platform, we'll see the stern thruster. What you can't see are the underwater lights and camera. Go back up into the cockpit. There's room for fishing and diving. There's a nice swim ladder over there that allows you to get in and out of the water easily. Up these stairs, and you have entry into the enclosed back deck. From here you can see out, and it's a beautiful view. There are windows all the way around. To starboard you can see the sofa. There's a matching one to port. As we look forward you can see the galley's been moved up to this deck. There's an island there with a big screen TV above it. There's a smaller fridge over to the side along with a second refrigerator, freezer, dishwasher, microwave, stove. Really nice galley countertops. And then on the starboard side you'll see the stairway that leads up to the bridge. Let's go up there and take a look. Everything's covered when you're not using the boat. And when you take the covers off, you'll see that you have full instrumentation at the upper helm. There's a repeater for the Faruna Navnet system, and a great view from up on top. There's a davit to lift up the dinghy up onto the deck. And over to the other side, there's an emergency canister life raft. As we go down below and start moving forward again, we're into the pilot house. Full instrumentation with dual screen Furuno Navnet system with your radar, depth sounder, chart plotting GPS, that's the autopilot, and the remote control for the spotlight. These gauges monitor the f all the liquids on the boat, fuel and water, VHF radio. Close up of the Navnet screen wind speed, wind point, along with a rudder angle indicator. Here's the control for the bow thruster and stern thruster that were recently installed from Westmar. There's a remote control for these units so you can go off on either side of the deck and control the boat. As we drop down four stairs, we are into the main salon. The furniture in here was custom made for the boat. There's storage under the sofa. The table is in the low position now and it can be popped up for dining or playing games. Looking aft, see that there's a big screen TV and there's a closet just to the right of that television and inside are all of the entertainment systems with satellite television, beautiful stereo, everything you need to have a great time on the boat. Owner's cabin is all the way aft. We've got a king size bed those closets run the full width of the boat. There's plenty of room for all your gear. There's a private head with fresh water vacuum flush toilet, shower stall, beautiful countertops. The VIP guest room has twin beds. There's another head, again with the vacuum flush toilet and a shower stall. As we go further forward, we get into the guest quarters. It's a double bed. A lounge across from it. Just forward of that couch is more storage. And then over to the port side, you've got the bunk beds. Now just forward of these bunk beds is a third head. And the shower is all the way up in the bow of the boat with another vacuum flush toilet and a very nice sink and vanity. Let's go back midship and drop down the engine room. 
We have a Westerbeek 15 kilowatt generator. The second generator across from it, Northern Lights, 16 kilowatt unit. Main engines on this boat are Detroit Diesel, 12V71, naturally aspirated, and they're rated at 525 horsepower. Here we are up on the foredeck. Beautiful teak decks on this boat. Big windlass. It's a beautiful vessel. If you have any questions at all, please give me a call. My name is Peter Zaleski and I can be reached at 619-857-2349. Thank you.